never understood why people work so hard to put on all this makeup and work out, and lose a bunch of weight and diet and go to really expensive stores and buy really cute but expensive clothing. I never, 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 never understood it. When I was growing up, I never put my looks first, ever. I wore, I don't remember that one time that girl told me, look at you wearing that same gray shirt, you wear it like three times a week. It was true. When I was in middle school, I had this very large gray shirt I wanted to wear all of the time to cover my developing breasts and so I could just look more like a boy because I didn't want to go through all of the things that came with um, developing into a woman and um, having to deal with the consequences of femininity, right? Like boys tease you and all this stuff. I was like, I wanted to be comfortable. I want to look like a guy. I didn't do my hair. Oh my gosh, my mom would plait down my hair, like just a couple, like three braids on each side. Y'all, and this is in middle school, and there were women, there were, I mean, I'm sorry, middle school, this girls, 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 but they looked like women, they looked like women. I remember there was one girl, I'll never forget her, she was the finest girl all the way up until high school. I mean, this girl had everything. This girl was beautiful in the face, designer bags, makeup, you know, like a really nice body. Oh my gosh, she had everything. The girl disappeared, I don't know what happened to her. But um, it just, it never dawned on me that, you know, <laughs> this girl was treated really well because she looked really good. She looked super, super good and she prioritized her. Look, she was also very smart. She was in all these AP classes, everything, all in the honors classes. Uh, we took pretty much all of the all of the same honors AP classes um, but I never took my look seriously and I was clowned for that I remember I remember that girl was like why are you always wearing this gray shirt I don't even want to hang up hang out with you the worst thing about it though the worst thing about that girl telling me that is that um, we are in middle school and this girl was at least 200 pounds. So I had no, an obese child tell me that she was embarrassed to hang out with me because I wore the same gray shirt all the time. This is super embarrassing. Um, I'm past it now so I can share these experiences. <laughs> but the point is I never understood until I started to really take it seriously and try to understand the, the art of makeup, the art of dressing well. Um, prioritizing looks, trying out things, um, you know, after taking a shower, putting on lotion every single day, putting on scents every single day, getting my hair done, um, trying out different types of jewelry, you know, like trying out different types of styles and looks, um, skincare. I started to double down on all that stuff and my life changed. I have never seen my life change this fast um, before. When I was growing up, I was a very studious kid. I got into a really good school, top 1% in the world. Um, and it was all, I did all of that looking busted. I got a scholarship from Bill Gates and went to one of the top schools in the country and in the world looking busted. Imagine when I, I could have went to Harvard had I been looking nice. <sighs> oh my gosh. I'm telling you ladies, from a person who has really went from one side of the spectrum all the way to the other side, looks matter because people will treat you better and if you don't take anything else from this video. The hard, cold reality is that as a woman, you will be judged based on how you look. Unfortunately, men aren't judged the same way, but women are. But while we can 
while we still have time, we should leverage that to our advantage and acknowledge this truth, look our best, use the opportunities we get from looking nice and spend them into things that we can hold and, and no one can take from us. So whether that be assets and education, great health, we need to spin these looks into something valuable and long-term because oh my gosh, when you look bad, people treat you bad. Like when you, when you don't look like you keep up with yourself and when you look very, very casual all the time. Oh my gosh, my favorite, even when I was an undergrad, oh my gosh, when I was an undergrad, I used to love wearing a hoodie with my college logo on it and some jeans and some tennis shoes. I could wear that every day. I'm still the type of person that I kind of like wearing that stuff, um, but I force myself not to because I know people will treat me differently and just be kinder to me, more helpful, more, you know, assisting if I don't dress that way and dress kind of like, you know, like I have this boohoo top on, you know, in some shorts, you know, even though this isn't like super, super nice, it's still not very, very casual looking. Looking nice changes changes everything. It changes everything. Um, take it from someone who always looked busted to someone who is now, and I'm still developing, and there, there is no way that I'm sitting here saying that, oh yeah, I'm like a style expert, like I look nice, I come. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, but yeah, people treat you differently. And it sucks, but it's true. <laughs> it's true. And you can get a lot more looking cute and feminine. You can get a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot more. Definitely. It's crazy. It's crazy. But anyway, um, until next time. I'll see you later.